What's going on guys code expert here and in the previous tutorial we created a minimum viable token and in this tutorial we are going to add some more functionality so that we can build our decentralized app dice game on the top of this token all right so before getting started uh, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and I will be really thankful for you if you can do that because that is how I will be able to create more awesome tutorials like this and now let's get started so since previous tutorial I created this function here which takes into value um, takes into account the underscore value one argument which is the value of bet that is placed by one player and the dice result which is, which is the result of the dice um, which we got from our um, this game all right and uh, it returns the boolean success as well as we have defined this four different uh, variables which is one is participant count which counts how many participants have already um, there uh, if the more than two more than one participant is there that means if two participants are there it's going to give the result for us otherwise is going to uh, continue playing the game all right then we have the participant one amount uh, the amount which participant one has placed the bet on because we need that uh, in the case of second participant playing and then we have the participant one dice result and then we have participant one address all right and now let's get started so first of all we are going to have require some condition here as well so the first condition is uh, require oops require um, balance of the guy who is sending the tokens which is msg.sender must be greater than or equal to underscore value all right and then we have balance of um msg dot sender is minus equal to underscore value and don't worry guys if you don't understand i will explain it um, in a moment owner plus equal to underscore value and we have this owner here we have to define as well so address owner and uh, in constructor we have owner is equal to msg.sender all right and what we have done now is that we have defined this owner which is the owner of this contract and we assign this to this guy which is a person who is actually deploying this smart contracts all right the person who is deploying this smart contracts and um, having this all of the tokens which is the actual um father of this contract if you will like uh, which has all of this total supply in the beginning will be the owner of this contract and then the person who is trying to execute this contract will have um, to require this condition first and then that amount of value will be deducted from this account and will be uh, gone to this account all right for temporary and uh, we will again um, my subtract the amount from this account and send it to whoever actually wins the game but uh, we don't want to lose the money if there is any glitch in the game or if the connection is lost that's why we put all of the money which is gone from here to this owner's account so that uh, the person who is playing game can contact the owner and get the money or the tokens from this guy of amount this value and it will not be lost all right and once we have this uh, we increase the participant count by uh, one and then if participant count is equal to equal to one then we have uh, some things here which is participant um, dice result is equal to underscore dice result and then participant amount is equal to underscore value then participant one address 
is equal to msg dot sender and uh, that's it and now mm, what's going on here apps sorry this is address not you and and everything is fine now and then uh, we have if participant count is equal to equal to two then we have the three conditions so if the participant count is one then we store everything that uh, the participant one has the dice result the value uh, of the bet and his address and then if the participant count is true two then we will announce the results here all right so there are two three possibilities one is uh, participant count actually it should be participant one count all right and let's change it here participant one count and participant one one and one all right yeah participant one count is equal to equal to underscore dice result which means that uh, if the dice result of this participant one is equal to dice result of participant two um yeah sorry participant one dice result i don't know what's happening with me but i'm sorry for that and yeah so if we see that if the participant count is two that means it's time to announce the results and we see if the dice result of participant one is equal to dice result of participant two and then we will have a balance of um, participant one address plus equal to participant one amount so whatever money that we took out from this guy will be his own and then uh, balance of msg dot sender will be plus by underscore value that we have detected here um, here so we give it back to him because uh, the the game is the draw and every everyone gets its own balance back and then we deduct the owner the value of participant one amount and then deduct the owner of participant um, value all right and this is the draw and then we have two more um, conditions so let's copy this thing and paste it here and the second one is this one the dice result of participant one is greater than dice result of two which means that this guy is now one and uh, it he will get this um, amount of his own and then this is the guy who is getting the amount of second as well so participant one address will get the value of second as well right and uh, similarly we will deduct it from this guy all right the owner and then we have the third condition which is less than and we will send it to the second guy here all right and then uh, after everything is over we will have the participant count amount is equal to zero participant count is equal to zero uh, participant dice result is equal to zero and the participant one address is null all right and now you can uh, auto compile it and uh, go to run and deploy it and we have everything here now um, i recommend you to go through all of these functions and check 
uh, if everything works first what you can do is we have this first account which has all of the balance you can copy this and paste it to balance off and see that we have everything it looks bigger because we have multiplied it by the decimal uh, decimals here here <clears throat> and then you can transfer using this function to um, these two accounts and then you can play the game with these two accounts by placing the bet so you can place the value of 100 and uh, some dice uh, number that you want from your head for example between 1 to 6 so 1 or 2 or 5 or 4 anything you want and play between these two guys and see whether it works all right and let me know in the comment section if it works if it doesn't then uh, please comment below and i will try to answer your queries and in the next tutorial we will actually have our template and try to understand uh, the template code and go forward building our decentralized application so let's meet in the next tutorials. Thanks for watching.